Good day, viewers. My name is David Davis. I'm a pastor of St. Albans Community Church, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, based in St. Albans in the United Kingdom. It is my honor to present to you the Open Heavens Reflection today, based on the Open Heavens Daily Guide, written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adabaye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Today's topic is Becoming a Wonder, Becoming a Wonder. And the Bible passage is taken from Psalm 77, verses 11 to 15. Let us read. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will also meditate on all your work and talk of your deeds. Your way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who does wonders. You have declared your strength among the peoples. You have with your arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. And the memory verse is taken from the same Psalm, 77 verse 14. You are the God who does wonders. You have declared your strength among the peoples. And so brethren, let us reflect. In today's devotional, Pastor Adebaye assures us that not only is God a God of wonders, but he can also turn you into a wonder. As Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. When you become born again and baptized in the Holy Spirit, you receive power to become a wonder. Jesus told the disciples that after they receive the Holy Spirit, they would become witnesses to the ends of the earth. Oftentimes, we think that Jesus was saying that they would preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. Could they reach the ends of the earth? How many were there? How long would it take them to travel to the ends of the earth? Rather, Jesus was saying that they would become walking witnesses. They would become a demonstration of God's power. They were carriers of God's power. As God began to do wonders through them, news spread. Imagine that Peter's shadow was healing the sick and handkerchiefs that Paul touched healed the sick. A witness is someone who has first-hand experience. They had first-hand experience of God's power and it was documented in the Bible for us to read. Now the scripture is fulfilled because news of what God did through the apostles has surely spread to the ends of the earth through the Bible. It should not end there. God can make you a wonder also. Make sure that you are not a hearsay witness, but a first-hand witness. God can bless you in a way that will astound those who thought you would not succeed in life. He can bless you in a way that souls will be one for the kingdom just by hearing your testimony. You shall be a wonder in Jesus' name. And let us share the prayer point. Father, today, make me a positive wonder to my generation so that they can come to know you. Thank you and God bless you all.